Okay, first of all, it's a terrible week. I'm sorry for all of us because it just all sucks. Um, I just got off a really amazing call with uh, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse and some other amazing people. It was a very sobering call, but it was also kind of incredible. So I wanted to share a little bit of what we talked about there with you. Okay, so the sobering part, of course, is just really understanding and grappling with the fact that we are dealing with a captured Supreme Court, right? It's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's true. And the sooner we start just talking about it that way, this is a captured court, uh, the better. Uh, the ethics scandals are terrible, but they're only part of a problem. The bigger problem, the main problem is the billionaires and the Christian nationalists who are pulling the MAGA justices strings. This is the Leonard Leos, the Mercers, the Kochs, the Ulines, these special interest groups. And that's what they are. They're literally telling justices that they got seated, which cases to take and which way to rule. That's obviously a huge problem problem. And this is also exactly what fascism looks like. It, you know, we keep talking about it encroaching. It's here. And if you don't believe me, here's the definition. Check it out. This is fascism, right? So just like it's important to talk about the captured court, it's important to talk about the fact that we are fighting fascism, just like we were in World War II. Make sure everyone understands it. And then the good news is, though, that we do still have a voice we still have our votes. We still have a chance to stop this. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight, but it totally can be done. Totally. There's no question of that. So we don't get to slip into hopelessness or cynicism and just give up, right? Think about what I was thinking about this morning, the Dred Scott decision. I was reading about it last night. In 1857, it held that African Americans were not and could never be citizens of the United States. Imagine how black Americans and their allies must have felt at that moment, right? The grief, the betrayal, the sickness in their souls. And even so, those communities did not give up, right? They persisted. And we are going to persist as well. We are in a battle for the soul of our country, y'all. That MAGA coalition, it's coming for our freedoms. They're using the Supreme Court to do what they couldn't get done through legislation because it's not popular. And right now it is working for them. We can defeat them, but to do so, we really need to fight like hell. And I'm just going to close by reminding you what Frederick Douglass said. He said, if there's no struggle, there's no progress. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. I am committed to engaging in that struggle. I am committed to demanding the power back for the many, not the money. And I really hope you will join me. Together we can do it.